For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, August 6th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. The state of Vermont on Thursday reported 62 new cases of COVID-19, including two positive tests reported in Wyndham County. The state of New Hampshire on Thursday reported 232 new cases of the virus, with eight new positive tests reported in Cheshire County. The state of Massachusetts on Thursday reported two deaths, 1,046 new cases of the virus, with 13 positive tests reported in Franklin County. A week after heavy rains damaged area roads, the town of Putney estimates damage at $800,000 and several roads remain closed. The town manager's office says they are working from several angles to reopen and repair town roads, including assistance from a neighboring town on Thursday. Two local contractors have been also working since the storm. Putney Emergency Management Director Tom Goddard is handling logistics with Vermont Emergency Management and a meeting is scheduled Monday with VTrans. If a property owner has property damage, they need to contact 211 to report it. The Vermont Association of Hospitals and Health Systems supports hospital and health system efforts and policies to mandate or encourage vaccines for their entire staff. According to a statement released on Thursday, nearly 84% of Vermonters have at least one vaccine dose and the rate of uptake among healthcare workers is in the same range or higher. Maintaining Vermont's success against COVID-19 requires that we continue to take all steps we can to mitigate the infection rate and keep Vermont safe and healthy. A justice on the Vermont Supreme Court has been nominated to a seat on the second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. The White House on Thursday made the announcement about Beth Robinson as part of President Joe Biden's sixth round of judicial nominees. Robinson would be the first and only LGBTQ woman to serve on any federal circuit court. Dartmouth College's indoor mask mandate is back. The college is requiring all members of the Dartmouth campus community to wear masks indoors, even if they're vaccinated. In a letter to the college community, officials said masks are not required in private, non-shared spaces or when eating and drinking. Students in shared rooms don't need to mask around each other if they aren't showing systems, or symptoms rather. The letter says the move comes a day after the town of Hanover announced it was reinstating its indoor mask requirement. WTSA Sports, Red Sox can't wait to get out of Detroit. The Red Sox losing to Detroit yesterday afternoon 8-1. to one. That was Boston's sixth loss in seven games. Boston takes on Toronto tonight, first pitch at 7.05. Newly acquired Joey Gallo homered for the Yankees as they beat Seattle Thursday night 5-3. to three. Those teams play again this evening. First pitch is at 7.05. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, August 6th, have a safe and tremendous weekend, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.